do you access the internet Jeez. sites? How do you post a web page on the internet? How many accessible news groups are there on the internet? Guess what? I found a computer book the other day. Oh, that's so funny. The two buckets of shit. What you're seeing is really happening. Kids all over the world are using computers to play games, do homework, and meet new friends. Good job, because I taught you. <laughs> yeah, right. God, yeah. I, it's me who does all the work. Hi, my name is Rachel, and in this program, we're going to show you the latest things that kids are doing on the internet, at school, and at home. Now I'd like you to meet my co-host, Brian. Hi, I'm Brian. Why are kids interested in the internet? It's fun! Fun! It's fun. Fun! <laughs> fun! We're cool. We're cool. We're really hot. Man. You guys are cool. Okay, you guys, tell me uh, cool. what is the difference between this and just watching TV? Can you TV do this on is just fun. Your brain cells drain out of your ears. <laughs> exactly, TV. Is it bad to have your brain cells drain out of your ears? <laughs> yeah, yeah, usually. It's probably bad, yeah. What is the internet? The internet started out as a U.S. Department of Defense project which enabled people to communicate with each other throughout different parts of the country. The internet is not one big computer like most people think. It's thousands of tiny computers connected all over the world. The internet is a global encyclopedia. You can do anything you want on, on the internet yeah. just by looking at a get, button. You can get games, awesome graphics, you can talk to you can, guys in Japan. Everywhere. You can send data in a split second to a person halfway across the world. It's just amazing how much stuff you can do on this one screen. Yeah, it's pretty much a network that you can go through your computer, do stuff, talk to people all over the world, communicate with people all over the world, email them, fax them, plenty of stuff. Play games, you can do encyclopedias, you can use newspapers, read magazines, make travel arrangements. You can get resources. The internet is um, a large web, if you want, if you call it that, of um, computers interconnected to each other um, through places called servers, which are kind of like houses along the superhighway, which is um, another word or um, a way people describe the internet. Let's say you're driving a car. Your car is your modem. How fast your modem can go is your car's speed. You can pull into the driveway at different houses and talk to the people in there and pull down information from their personal libraries. Someone tell me about email. Can you email with the TV? Uh, no. 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 The only way you can email oh without a computer God. is by What's sending that? snail mail. <laughs> snail mail. Yeah. That's, not... you, That's the normal US mail service that gets, <laughs> takes forever to get there even on one day express. So you think email is faster than the U.S. post office? Yes, yeah. and it doesn't cost yeah. anything for stamps. This brings us to one of the coolest uses of the Internet, electronic mail, or commonly known as email. Everyone knows what mail is. You send the letter in the mail, and in a few days, it arrives at its destination. Electronic mail is when you type a message into your computer, and it is sent almost instantaneously to its destination at another computer anywhere in the world. You'd be surprised at how many cool things you can do using email. Email is a lot faster than regular mail. You can send a letter and it'll be sent to the other person within a second. So they get it right away instead of waiting for like three or four days. It's also a lot cheaper. OK, I'm writing out my name. This is where I type into the, the address that I'm going to send to the person. And I'm sending it to one of my friends. And right here is where I put the subject of the letter so they know what I'm talking about. And the subject is going to be horses. And this is where I enter the message, right here.
is Don, and he's 16 years old. And I write to him about my horseback riding. I write English, and I do a lot of jumping in competitions, and I usually do pretty good. I use email to talk to my cousins in France. Um, one's 15, and her name's Stephanie, and the other is 18, and her name's Sophie. I have never been to France, so I haven't seen them in about two years, so the email is a good way for me to talk to my cousins. You can find new net pals on the internet very easily by subscribing to a mailing list called Listserv. What I usually use it for is just to send messages to my mother and father while they're at work. If they're uh, out of their desk or something, if they left, left their desk, I can just send a message and they can find it when they get back. My mother has a friend at her job, so sometimes she, she wants something off the encyclopedia at, at her house. So I'll look up something in the encyclopedia for her and send it to her via email. I use email to talk to my friends in Argentina. It's a great way to make new friends, and my Spanish has improved tremendously. Brian, ¿qué más les gusta hacer a los niños en el internet? Any of you guys been on chat groups? Oh, yeah, yeah. well, with my friends. The second most popular thing kids like to do on the internet is talking chat groups. Think of a chat group as a big room full of people interested in the same things you are. But instead of going to an actual room, you go online. You can talk to tens, or hundreds, or thousands of people that way. You can talk about anything on the side, like movies, video games, comic books. I love chat groups. I can trade comics, sell comics, buy, talk. It's amazing what you can do. Do any of you guys like Super man. Chat groups are different um, groups that are organized by interest. People can log on as they want to and just talk about their interests. It's, it's fun because I can get free comics from artists and I can talk to people that are famous like Ed O'Neill. Take it you like Star Wars. Force May the force you. be with you. Have you heard of Hardware Wars? <laughs> you, you bet. bet. Hardware Wars. A spectacle light years ahead of its time. Fly along with Ham Salad and Chuchilla, the Wookiee Monster, as they make their daring getaway. One day I read that in number 100 of Superman, they were going to kill Clark Kent and make him become Superman 100% of his life. And I thought, hey, this is not good. I'm going to stop reading this comic because I don't want that. Clark Kent has been around for over 50 years, and I don't think it's right. So, on CompuServe, I talked to Dan Jerkins, who is the writer of Superman comics, and I complained. I said, this isn't right. The people who created him would not like this. He said, I'll take your words into consideration, and I guess he did, because in Superman number 100, what actually happened was, instead of Clark Kent dying, uh, he defeated the evil guy was going to expose his inner self, Clark Kent. And so Clark Kent stayed alive. I guess it's all thanks to me and lots of other people on the internet. We did it! Finally! For those people that think chat rooms are just a waste of time, take it from me. I helped save the life of Superman, the greatest being in the universe. And that's amazing. And I like to go on the chat lines and talk to people about my pets and what they have and where do they live and their schools. And usually it's about their pets because I like mine and they tell me what kind of pets they have and what type and what their names are. Uh, you guys know what news groups are? Oh, this is like... Um, Anyone? Uh, That's what a news group is. They can be educational. They can be... This, this is like one of those they're designated. It's just like one of those for like you have to all, connect like, with like, and rec. 
Is it education? education? Is it 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 education? And you find out information, anything about anything under the sun. This information is always changing. There was one other uh, important thing about news groups I didn't hear yet. Oh, oops. It's not just a place where you go get information. Who's who's giving the information? Oh, other it can be other kids, any people your own age, can be people of any age. Right? They can just the load it up into exactly. It. So pick, pick any topic you like, and there's probably a news group with that and then hold it. Yeah, topic, hold it. right? Yeah. Probably. And you can communicate with people huh? all over the world about yeah. some particular topic. Yeah, exactly. Have you guys been on any? Yeah. yeah. In these groups you can find all sorts of information on um, subjects of interest and um, you can converse with other people who have the same interests as you do. And there are thousands of news groups here. I'm downloading um, news groups of my choice. And what I'm doing now is um, searching for all the items that the computer can find on dolphin news groups. Now we're into the news group on dolphins and these are all different items that different people have posted on dolphins. And here I'll scroll down, scroll down and look at some. Here's one on cetacean audiography. Um, amazing environmental organization, web directory. Um, a two-year law by A. Graham. A dolphin book list. And here's one on dreams. I think I'll go to that. Here's a woman who had um, some dreams about dolphins. With email, chat, and news groups, we are limited to just sending text. However, there is a place on the internet where we can find pictures, music, and even video. This place is called the World Wide Web. Okay, what about the World Wide Web? Do I have to subscribe anywhere to get on the World Wide Web? Uh, to some services that get you on, yeah, like Mosaic. Sometimes. So I have to have some initial service, right, to yeah, get me like onto the, yeah. the net. The World Wide Web, or WWW as it's called, has revolutionized the internet. Now you can get pictures, sounds, and graphics. Also, it's much easier to get around. All you have to do is point and click. Poof! When you hear about people surfing the net, it really means they're looking around the World Wide Web. But before we go surfing, we need some music. Some fun ones too. A lot of fun ones. That's Are they all fun? It's a free. No. It's a free. Wait, let's try it now. World. Give me some, like where have you been on the web? Um. Well, oh, I've been in the joke oh, section. Oh, and, 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 oh, and section all up. about cheese. And a section Look. all Wait, about, about bread. Cheese? The yeah. Cheese. Yeah. You can have Stop pictures it. of cheeses. We like, have to get a gear. We here is this. There. So it scares Morty. And Morty will get something off. We have to get what? Where? I play the clarinet, and I love all kinds of music. And I found this wonderful, wonderful place on the World Wide Web called IUMA. That stands for Internet Underground Music Archive. There are over 800 bands, all different types of music from all around the world. And I can pull down and listen to samples anytime I want. And it's a lot of fun. A homepage, which is kind of like your living room, let's say. And then your homepage can be linked to many other smaller pages. Like, there's, let's say there's a Star Wars homepage that, Lucas, that LucasArts has out. It could um, have links to a lot of other really um, small 
um, pages. Yeah. Yeah. So no, is it like really not. hard to, to make your own page? Cat? Um, not really. We have to, we have yeah. to yeah. like a text editor. Wait, wait, put the wrap here so the bowling ball will fold down. So I don't have to go to school for years to learn how to do it? No, we can buy a book on it. And then we have to take the rope and tie it on the one end there. Were you guys able to make your own? Yeah. Paper there. No, that. How long did it take you? Um, about a half an hour. There, now I'm quick. Half hour. There. Well, it would have taken no, me just shorter, except I had a lot of meddling. No, wait, no, no, try, try, so try. Four hours, okay. but that's what. Try. <laughs> it's just because I had too many How many web links did you have? Um, you, about a okay. hundred or so. Well, this is my worldwide web page I've constructed, and what it is basically, it's a directory of Star Wars links. You could go to the LucasArts Company homepage, 20th Century Fox homepage. THX Sound homepage, or maybe if you are interested in some specific characters. Let's see. You could um, go to the Boba Fett homepage, the Wedge and Tilly's the Unsung Hero homepage, or a homepage about Yoda. Uh, what's hypertext? Mm -hmm. Hypertext means that you can click on something no, to you automatically go to something else. No, you lost it. How do you how do you do that? Use it again. Um, just click well, on it. It just poked just click it. On it. When you, if someone wants to send an email to my account, then they can just click on this hypertext link here to bring up a um, screen, uh, a mail screen um, like this. Okay. Well, let's see. Subject: Hello to self. I love home pages. A home page is a specific spot on the World Wide Web. Here's one I created myself. It includes words, pictures, and it can even include sound. It's like my own personal billboard on the internet. Home pages are really cool. Um, people can post them from all over the world, and anyone can look at them, and they're really easy to put up. Here's one that I made. I scanned in two photographs here, and those are friends that I have, and they live in Argentina. Um, I wrote a little bit about myself, them, and where I met them in my text items down here. And right here, I have an icon that says, I can mail Florencia and Mercedes by merely clicking on their names. So if someone were to want to mail them, all you have to do is click on their names, and you can mail them. Um, down here, I have a heading, some terrific sites to visit on the web. Is this something you guys could do on TV? Watching TV? No, no, no way. No, definitely no way. Not. This is much no better. Way. We could also somebody else do it. What? TV is not interactive. Tell oh, oh, oh. Yeah, a bit too late. Oh, 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 oh. Put, put it right here. Put it you right here. You have to put it close. You have to put it close. Put the ball right here. A MUD is um, a game, and it stands for multi-user dimension, which means that people can interact on the MUD. And this program is called the Mud Connector, and it will take us to literally thousands of muds. My favorite game is um, called Cyber Mud, and it's um, about muds, and your character walks through a um, world created by a computer called Snorkel Whacker. And um, um, the muds are trying to take over the world, and you have to stop them. I personally prefer Medieval Land. You can kill monsters, explore this giant dungeon, get gold to buy better weapons, to kill more monsters, or you can just collect weapons to get, kill the monsters. I'm in an RPG that's a role-playing game, and it's called Galaxy Force. And it's on, we do uh, battles in space with like space, spaceships. They're kind of um, like many adventure games, which they have puzzles in them, and which um, helps you think creatively. I pretend I'm a high admiral, which is really high up, and I am the commander of a fleet, and I'm gonna try to get my own planet soon. Right about now, most parents out there are starting to ask some pretty tough questions. I see how kids are having fun with the internet, but how does it help their educational needs? When parents see kids playing games, they usually think that the kids are just goofing off. They don't realize that the kids are learning and having fun at the same time. <laughs> do you guys ever do any of your homework on computer? Yeah. yeah. It's, Does it make it more much fun? Easier. Yeah, you can make much it look easier. Yeah, we had like, like a science fair project Take that was one of really these long, and if I had handwritten, it would have taken me forever, but I didn't. Yeah, I've emailed people, um, like my friends maybe, if 
say they need to do homework and like they were sick that night, I would email to them what the homework was and like maybe I copy it and then scan it in or something like that and then give it to them and then they would just print it out and they would have the sheet to write on and fill it in. Like, computer for your homework? Yeah. You guys do any research? Oh, I did research oh, yeah, on oh, MedNet. Yeah, for my science for project on, on MedNet. It's a, um, kind of an online service it. for doctors. I had a Civil War project in school and it was going to be a really big part of our grade. So the first thing I did was go to the internet and look for stuff on the Civil War, like any pictures or information, so I could get an idea of what I wanted to do. I found a whole bunch of information on Gettysburg, so I did a group of letters, printed them up on my computer, and I made him look really old by dunking him in tea and drawing him, and then I put seals on him. I was a daughter, and my father was off fighting in the Michigan 7th. I was telling him about the farm that we lived on, and I was telling him about how the corn was growing, and how we missed him. When I handed it in to my teacher, he was really surprised and he was thrilled and I ended up getting an A+. The internet really helps homework. You can go into libraries all over the United States. You can find anything that you want, anytime you want it, by anyone that you want. You can get into some colleges and get information from there. You can even talk to some teachers. My hobbies are basketball and I like wild animals. I was looking up whales and I typed in whales and popped up International Wildlife Coalition and, and I started getting interested in it because the first headline I saw was adopt a whale. I heard that Jennifer is adopting a whale. She already adopted a whale. Its name is Patches and now I'm interested in it and I'm going to adopt a whale named Ishtar. Well, Ishtar's had a lot of babies. <laughs> um, she's a mother and she's pretty much one of the Whales that have the most kids. This is my aliens slideshow, and I'd like to show it to you. This is the title page, and I made all these things that are moving. It's kind of cool to see the things move into place. And these are all the things that I um, did all the rest of the show, slideshow on, um, like aliens, the space station, but aren't there a lot of things on the internet that can get kids in trouble? Hmm? The internet is like a playground for today's kids. But instead of playing in their backyard, they can play all over the world. But just like a playground, you have to know a few safety tips to make sure that you have fun. Rule number one, always be polite when you're communicating on the internet. That means using appropriate language and never using capitalized letters. That means you're shouting. Rule number two, never give your full name address, or phone number to any strangers on the internet. Rule number three, if you come across something on the internet that's not appropriate for kids, scary, or just makes you feel weird, disconnect immediately and tell your teacher or parent. That's it. With just using a little common sense, you can have access to all the playgrounds in the world without scraping your knee once. All right, suppose I buy a computer, I bring it home, and someone says, hey, you should get on the net. How do I do that? Well, you need, you need a a modem and a phone line that you can plug the modem into. So the modem will work by itself? I just no. plug it in? No, you have to no, buy software, software for your modem. Online. Like, so um, WinFact or something. So I need software to run my modem? Yeah. Okay, what else? <laughs> and, um, a computer. I got the computer, I got the modem, I got the software to run the modem. And a monitor. Do I need anywhere, do I, do I have places to go? Uh, no. Let's see. Electronic mail, news groups, chat groups, the World Wide Web, homework, Wow, parents, can we talk? If you and your family aren't hooked up to the internet yet, it's about time to get started. Now, here's John with a few tips on how to get online. Well, what you need to get on the internet is um, a computer, a modem, phone lines, um, so you can dial into the um, internet, a ac access provider, a web browser, and a good computer school that will teach you how to do everything. 
Thanks for joining us on Kids on the Internet. We hope we've inspired you to get on the internet and have some fun. But if your parents or teachers are doubtful, just tell them to keep watching. The internet has got to be the greatest thing that has happened to mankind. You can do almost anything on it. You can play games, have recreation, get information, do your homework, go to school, go to work, and even order pizza. So My grades improve, I've done all these things. I mean, I'm just, my parents are happy that I'm on the internet. And that's real proof. The internet is cool because you can send information halfway across the world. And the internet is also cool because you can get free games. You can talk to people in Japan, you can get free comics, you can trade cards, you can get help with your homework. It's great. Social. You can chat with people, send people email, send people pictures of yourself, send people sound clips of your voice, um, and run around on the internet's playgrounds if you need any physical, well, cyber physical exercise. There's no doubt about it, the internet is the future. Life is sweet, down at the sugary, where troubled minds in modern times can always find relief. You can tell your friends the sidewalk ends, down at the sugary. I love homepages. A homepage is a specific spot on the World Wide Web. Here's one I created myself. Oh. <laughs> fun, 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 fun. It's like my own personal billboard on the, on the internet. <laughs> That's okay. You're doing, look, you're doing so great. Just look at the camera, okay? Go! Oh. It was really good. Oh, it's just... Go! Oh. Here we go. Mom, can you please get out of the picture? Ready? Oh. Look er. The camera, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go. It's fun. It's fun. Oh, it's fun. Yes, it's fun. Oh, it's fun! <laughs> I enjoy it. In other, in other words, I enjoy it. It's thousands of tiny computers connected all over the world. It's thousands of tiny computers connected all over the world. It's thousands of tiny computers connected all over the world. Too much? That was fun, but you have to look into the camera. Don't! Oh. You can explore, you explore this giant dungeon full of monsters, which you kill, gold, which you collect to buy better stuff to kill monsters, and weapons, which you don't need the gold to kill the monsters. <laughs> <laughs>